Just to see what we get. Spoils of War. Poppy with Yetis! We need bigger Yetis. See, these Yetis need to have an impact. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another meme tier Monday. We got three more viewer submitted decks still going through our donation deck lists. We got some more. We got Bandle City Yetis. This is going to be a Yeti deck. We got all the Yeti cards uh, that we're going to be putting in here and then combining Yetis with Bandle City, which is some of like the good stuff in Bandle City. Um, you know, just kind of combining those together. We got Poppy for, you know, Sejuani's our one champion. Goes really well with, with Yetis, but then also a Poppy. Because if you can grow Poppy to five power, then whenever Poppy attacks, it's going to be growing your Yetis also. So that could be pretty cool. To grow Poppy to five power, we can either, you know, we'll just have like our first attack with a Poppy uh, that gets it to five power. But besides that, we're also going to be uh, playing some Starless Seers in here. Starless Seer with... Uh, you know, some of these cards that can make like pranks or like trinket trade, get you a couple of spells, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, so we got some different spells to go along with Starlet Seer. Uh, but that's kind of it, you know, like it's just going to be doing our cool Yeti stuff, but then playing some some Vandal City cards. Uh, couldn't decide, the Prince of May, we couldn't really decide whether to play Kelp Maidens for the Elusive or Vandal Commando, because having Elusive is good with Starlet Seer. Um, and so we're just playing one of each, just kind of going... The coward's way out splitting that up we'll just kind of see if, if one of the two plays better than the other if neither one's good we can always replace him with loping telescopes in the future um troll chance just protect poppy and protect all of our yetis uh and then and also you know it's just great with starless here but uh we have conchologist and trinket trade in here making spells and and freljord is a great region for conchologist because freljord has such good spells they cost three or less. And you can see some of, some of these that are awesome in here, like Three Sisters, Troll Chant, um, even Tall Tales. We can make some Tall Tales with those and get some more Yetis. That could even be a thing that happens. Um, but that's so that's what we got. We got uh, instead of the third Pokey Stick, going with one hidden pathways just to get a, a little bit extra card draw. Because Pokey Sticks are another card or more cards that we can create with Conchologists. And there we go. All right, so let's see if we can get some Yeti with. Uh, Starlet Seer and some Bandle City cards. So we're calling it Bandle City Eddies. So we're just going to hang out over in normal. We're going to go play our five games. Nightfall. Alright, so playing against Nightfall, this looks like a pretty solid hand. I think I'm just going to keep it, right? Like, we have Yeti Earling plus another Yeti, right? So we have, like, two Yetis, so if we find the eight mana Yeti, we got that. But then we also got, like, double Conchologist, which Conchologist is just always an awesome card. So sure, you know, like, it seems like a good place to start. like good old troll chance. Uh, let's go and play the trapper first. I know we could open attack for three, but to be honest, that's just three. That's not very much. It's not like we're missing out on a ton of damage if they play something, but they're probably not playing anything that's like bigger than trapper this round. Yeah, see, we still get to attack with everything. And now we get... Four damage in instead of three. My research! Mm, they're probably not killing this Yeti in response. I doubt it. Probably not killing both Yetis in response. These stories were true. Let's go, Yetis. Alright. 
Um, I guess I'm not probably not really playing Troll Chant this round. We'll just play Conchologist. Get another attacker in here. Uh, Call the Wild it could be kind of cool, uh, but we'll just take the Pokey Stick. Safer. All right, Yeti's looking good. Doing their Yeti stuff. Conchologists have made good spells. Pokey Stick and Troll Chant. Uh, that's fine. Could play Sejuani here. Trinket trade. This is tough. Which champion are we playing? I mean, I guess we play Poppy to like grow everything else. Yeah, I guess it's Poppy. Without some danger. All right, so we still get to keep this three sisters. Um, I'm keeping that. I know, I know, like I could have just used like just like flash freeze and not had to do like double troll chant. But I think I'd rather keep this three sisters uh, for some kind of like surprise sickness thing, and or maybe like the entomb, like all that kind of stuff. I, I, basically, at this point of the game, I think one three sisters is better than two. Um, kind of want an ancestral boon, but. We'll take this thing. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Bow to no one. Instead of teacher chance. One three sisters. Alright, so I was thinking I was probably going to go Fury of the North on the Poppy attack, and then Poppy, do, you know, buffs the, the other two things also You'll get me next time. with that open attack. Alright, we'll take the win. So the question was, why, why did the opponent just play Cygnus by itself? Is cause, so we saw, like, their three cards in hand were just Cygnus, and then Evershade Stalker, and Glimpse Beyond. Well, you can't just, like, lead with Glimpse Beyond and... Do you really want to just... I mean, I guess they could have led with Evershade Stalker, but then they don't get any other copy and then Glimpse Beyond that. But yeah, so their hand was was pretty rough. I guess we replaced the Abominable Guardians. They would be cool to have. Kelp Maidens attacking on two is really nice. So hopefully no... Uh, um, whatever it's called. Make a Rain. Anything like that. Ancestral Boon Baboon. Cool. Now we want to make... Yes. Always have Double Trouble. I, like, hardly ever have Double Trouble in Nami, but my opponents always have Double Trouble in Nami. We're making that cost more. If they don't get to do that. Our Siren Song of Kelp Maidens. I won't 
let my home be swallowed by darkness. Does make their life more difficult for leveling up Nami. Go get him, Poppy. Ready, hammer. Let the tide carry you. Well, at least they're not, you know, saving any spell man ever. So that's good, that's good. Like it. He's now tall tails. So they play another spell, they're buffing the O2. I guess it's not great against Pale Cascade, though. Ooh, alright, good. And now, our, see, our Poppy's a 5-4. So it's gonna buff Tall Tails. It's gonna also unlock our Hidden Pathways. This thing will be a 5-5. Five five. Oh. Alright, maybe that was a little too cute for me with that block and, like, how I use the full chant. I mean, does it make sense to just, like, play the other Tall Tail? No. Nah. It's like, a, you know, it's gonna be like a 6-6 six, six attacking. Um, Alright, well, we could Flash Freeze, but that just keeps them from gaining 4 life. We'll just let this happen. We're going to draw two and hopefully draw into more ab abominable guardians. My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. Yeah, five out of seven. Ooh, another abominable guardian. Uh, I guess it's this card. Mm. I actually, I just don't think I'm going to cast the Avaros and Trapper. Because, you know, like, my, my board's going to be filled. I don't really want to just have a Yeti on top, because I don't really want to draw a Yeti right here. So, like, for my draw for turn, a Yeti's pretty bad. Considering we already have a full board. So, I just don't think we're going to cast this Avaros and Trapper at all. Poppy with Yetis is pretty cool, though. the last sparkle fly though right yeah they're out of sparkle flies what I guess they just had crescendum from before but then they just drew sparkle fly after having crescendum in hand because I, I think they used that guess from beyond before previously <laughs> that's not the card you want to buff all right I think we are just Entombing the Sparkle Fly. Because we're going to open attack with Poppy, leveling up Poppy, giving all these things impact. Doesn't really matter. Blocking or not blocking. Might as well say four life. Just 
just to see what we get. Spoils of War. Poppy with Yetis! We need bigger Yetis. See, these Yetis need to have an impact. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. All these 7 and 8 power Yetis. See, those are real Yetis right there. Those are some Yetis. Siver Action. They're going the Freljord version. So they're <clears throat> relying on the champions quite a bit. Alright, I'm going to keep one Sejuani. We have the attack token round 6, and Sejuani is awesome against Siver. But their deck's going to be very reliant on action. Akshan. Hopefully they do not have Akshan. Just pass. No Akshan. Hey, alright, we'll take it. So bouncing bomb would threaten to kill a auction, but it's expensive. I kind of want group shot that's a lot cheaper. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Yeah, our guardian is kind of noisy, but it's the it's the yeti. All right, he's he's kind of yeti like. Anything Yeti? Speaking of Yetis, that Enraged Yeti was a pretty good draw. I don't have anything to protect Poppy. So maybe I just play the Avaros and Trapper? I really wouldn't want to attack. I don't think I would want to attack with Poppy, even you know, into Endless Devout plus other stuff. You know, it's I don't know. It's kind of a scary attack. Let's get that out of here. See, that's why I'd be a scary attack of poppies. So now we got got rid of that 3-3 blocker and that pump spell. My poppy's still alive. Okay, so they they got troll chant. They're gonna save those two. Let's do this. Okay, brittle steel. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. The stories were true. Cards from the savage cold. Gross. I wanted my poppy to challenge the restored devout. Find your own. This game has really showed how good this endless devout card is. But yeah, we're looking not so great. They got a lot of cards over there. Oh, that's a good draw. Contologist. Make me some more spells that are awesome. Please, Contologist. Oh. 
Stress Defense, Entreat, and Brittle Steel. All good, all good. What wondrous discoveries are we're going with Entreat. Why do you have to have Spell Shield? Alright, it's doing... 7 damage right now. Wield your fury. Levels it up. Spell shield's pretty nice. I always get my share. It's a living. Spell shield pretty nice. This is the kind of game that we really could have used Troll Chance. Today's the day I find that hero. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, Just doesn't get better for like not attacking isn't better. We have to just quit struggling. You know. Do some attacking here. It's not great, but it's just kind of what we got. My opponents had a whole lot of interaction. I have not. And they've also had this spell shield on their champion. Those two things have been the difference. They've had, you know, a couple siphoning strikes, a couple good frostbites. Pathways is a very good draw. You know how it is. Troll chant, finally. Alright, so we're going to. Um I guess just pass. Yeah, I guess we just pass. Danger pays. And so we'll have 3-3 three, three block there, 3-5 block here. Or we just go like that. Something ancient stirs. Yeah, it's, re it's really not going to be easy. I think we go for action. We could we could go for the rock bear because we overwhelm more damage to the rock bear. You know, and then we're doing four to them instead of one to them. Yeah, we're doing that. Considering I only have one other, one additional turn to, to kill them. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, good game, opponent. Very good hand, great interaction there, and a Sivir was awesome. You have Treasure Seeker on one, you have the Endless Devout on three, you have the combo with the Naturalist to make, to make that on four, then you start dropping Sivir, and then uh, removal spells after that. That's just a really good hand. Endless Devout, yeah, so they, they had... You know, so yeah, they're playing Siphoning Strike, Howling Abyss, but really what was the key is the Endless Devout Naturalist combo. That's what you let them get to the late game and just unlocked everything else in their hand. 
I like Kelp Maidens, but it's going to die. So we're going to send it back. There, you know, this is a Go Hard Vile Feast deck. The Pokey Stick was like the one that I should probably be sending Pokey Stick back also. That's the one that I should also probably be sending back, but I like how it says draw a card. You know, draw one. I like that draw one. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. So I only lose one mana, they lose three. I don't know, these aren't the best. Uh, these aren't the best. I don't really... Yeah, I don't know. Basically thinking, like, I don't really care about this Otterpus. That was a complete waste of a prank. These things having the cost two more doesn't do anything to it. But our next unit does have plus three, plus three now. So that's how Starless here was helping us out. Do I have to? Let's grab an elixir of iron. Like that one mana. Not our best hit there. What wondrous discoveries await below? I guess maybe I should have just done the one to the aloof travelers. I feel bad about that now. I did say I wanted to see the world. The world below. Definitely feel bad for using for how I used stands for that card now. The pokey stick. That's what the card I was talking about. Feel bad for you how I use that card. Justice first hand! Eat this! I guess I could entomb that. This would be a good winter. An auspicious season. It doesn't save the Starless here, but at least trades. We need a lot more card draw than what we have for like this kind of matchup. We need more of those hidden pathways. Avros and Trappers putting like those enraged Yetis on top does hurt us in the long run. But we just we don't need those for every matchup. So that's that's the hard that's the hard thing about um, you know building your deck to be able to uh, defeat everything is you L, that's not ours. You have some matchups that you want some cards and other matchups you need other cards. Light is a lure in the dark. You are 
child. What do you know of nightmares? I know if I'm quick enough in a fight, I'll never have to meet him. Probably gonna be casting the Pokestick on the 3-1. Don't you look a sight? Just kill me. Move or cease. That's bad. At least all these things that say 5 power, they would all trade with Sejuani. Alright, so we know that the very top card is Enraged Yeti. I think I said Sejuani, I meant by. I don't know what that spell is, but it's scary. them just be able to like mystic shot the trapper Come, stay a while. okay that's a pretty good sign for us that they had to use that to be able to stay alive that's a good sign for us I'll just wait I know we could play this 2-3 but I'll just wait Ooh, good draw, good draw. Oh, can we actually pull it out? We're actually looking good here. Could mini morph our own Sejuani, so it only does three. Alright, we actually pulled it out. Good job, Yetis. We had a few good draws in there, including that Sejuani and some timely spells. Raven Aphelios. Okay. So we're not going to play against Endless Devout in this matchup. The best card in the game. The only card that we've lost to so far. I'm happy about that. So Conchologist into Trapper is a good 2-3. So I guess, you know, we could go like Bandle Commando into Trapper and then wait on Conchologist after, you know, for like round four we're playing like Conchologist plus. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So I think this just kind of works. Then we'll have like Conchologist plus Enraged Yeti plus Hungry Owl Cat. That could be our round four. Like that sounds like a good round four. And then and then might as well keep Sejuani, even though like, you know, a lot of times you mulligan six mana cards, but like we already have you know a lot of our you know first few rounds already kind of planned out, and so might as well just keep the really powerful champion. Okay, not the correct Yeti to draw, but that's alright. This will probably have a straw into the other Yeti. The one mana one. Nope. Deal four or Frostbite? 
And just another pokey stick. What wondrous discoveries await below? If that was the Frostbite plus Give Vulnerable, we'd do that. Like, that's a good card against Draven, for example. Alright, so we know that card's Draven. And they just played it right away. They were like, yeah, we're not fooling anybody. We, I know it's Draven, you know it's Draven. For truth. I shouldn't play that Owl Cat. Because I want to play Sejuani next round. I I did it because, you know, to use mana, so I don't waste mana, but now I I don't have a spot. I should not have played that. Yeah, that was not worth it. Just cover him up now. Yeah. Alright, well. Got that card for free anyway, I suppose. Alright, I do not want to deal with that lifesteal. No, thank you. I don't want them, like, whirling death. With that lifesteal or anything. The owl cat shall be replaced. Morning, take you. Rude. Alright, the owl cat shall not be replaced. So technically I could troll chant and keep the commando alive. Is that worth using the troll chant there? I kind of don't think so. Or it's not that important. Oh, would you look at these ads? Arena bookie's awesome. Poke. Poppy. Fury of the North Poppy next round. Let's go. Troll chant save Poppy. That's a that's a card to save the troll chant. Hmm. I could bust that up with troll chant, but then it doesn't kill it anyway, so. Out with the old. Today's the day I find that hero. Bookie's choice. Wield your fury. Go get him, Poppy. Focus on me. You take payment. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Just playing some Rune Terra. You know, smashing with the Eddies. We use. We're looking good. Oh. Maybe not looking so good. The moon rises. Uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe Three Sisters is just better, but Take Heart plus Poppy sounds cool. So they'll Calibrum shoot the 6-1, and I'll just let it happen, because I'll just play, <clears throat> you know, different. Yeah, you know, I'll just play Overwhelm Yeti. But they should get the stun card now. Oh, you know what? I probably should. Maybe I should have entombed that Ophelios at that time in response. I don't know. That doesn't really matter, because they just cast Dust Petal Dust, and they get the... They would get it anyway. So yeah, no, that was not, not a good use of... Yeah. They would just get the stun card anyway. So 
So realistically, I should have cast Tall... No, because I couldn't cast Tall Tales because we didn't have... Spawn. All right, what we get? Entreat? Entreat's cool. All right. Let's uh, do some attacking. Stand and fight! They cannot hold us down. Poppy Yetis. They will know. Even though there are only Yetis on the, the back row. Yeah, I know, right? Getting Entreat from Conchologist is kind of busted. You get to just go, sort of, you know, draw your champions. Like an Entreat a trade. Alright, 4 and 1. Definitely had to like Poppy with the Yetis. That was a really cool combination. Um, and then, you know, like Conchologist and Trinket Trade, just like I said, like they were awesome. Like, the, there's so many good spells to manifest from these regions. Uh, they were really, really good. I liked that Vandal Commando. We had that last game. That It definitely looked good. Um, we kind of talked about it. Like, it would be nice to have Omenhawk in this deck to try to have Omenhawk buff up Poppy to make it 5. But it's kind of difficult because, you know, you need, you know, you really want the Yeti Earlings to go, you know, it's a Yeti deck and you won't play, you know, it's, it's hard to fit Omenhawk in there also. But um, I, I could have seen playing some more Hidden Pathways because we did run out of cards. Uh, we were running out cards some. The, like, Avros and Trapper kind of hurts your card draw, right? Putting that Enraged Yeti back on top. So, like, you, you usually want to play extra card draw with the Trapper. But we were getting good cards from the Conchologist and the Trinket Trades. Like, they were making, like, Pokey Sticks, for example, or Entreats and, like, helping us with the card draw. Um, but I could definitely see finding ways to get an, another Hidden Pathways or two in here for just a little bit more card draw. But there's just so many good... Like, there's nothing that was poor in the deck right so it's hard to it's hard to put in hidden pathways when like everything's good because you know you want all these yeti cards you don't really want to give of any of the yeti cards and then like all like all the spells were really nice and and then you have your commando and kelp maidens like they were pretty cool so there's kind of nothing else it's it's really hard <laughs> you know but that's that's life all right so vandal city yetis four and one great way to start off the day here on memes here monday uh, a good yeti deck you know if you're looking for a yeti deck you know, this is a different version of a Yeti deck, and I think, have to say that I think it went really well. So give this one a try. And those of y'all watching later on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know if you do give it a try, how it goes for you, or just how y'all enjoyed the deck. Hopefully you did. But that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.